So guys, on the Minecraft Let's Play server, we're going to be doing some building today, guys. We're going to make ourselves a storage room. We're going to make it compatible for double chests because um, when the update comes out, 0.7.3, I'm going to need, it has double chests in it, so I'm going to make it compatible for it. But for now, because I'm in desperate need, I'm running out of space to store stuff, as you can see. This is pretty nearly full. I've got a lot of stuff on me at the moment that I'm going to need. This drink tress is full, and this one's just a new chest I've just added. So yeah, guys, I've been doing a little bit of work around here since you last saw me on the uh, server. I've added a bit more to the paths around here because they were getting on my nerves. So I made it all flat and straight and stuff, so it goes round now, it bends a little bit more. But the most important thing that I'm going to, I have done is uh, I've built this, as I can keep going, and to the side. This. I've, I've decided where I'm going to pull, build, build, build our base now, guys. And uh, I'll show you that in a sec, but there's the mod farm, still not been built on since the last episode. And uh, today we're going to build a storage room, as I said. Storage room is going to be based here, at this entrance here, and it's going to have a... It's going to be at this height, so it's going to be like that, and it's going to be... Have a slabbed floor. Uh, it's going to be have a chest which can have different types of stuff in. And this I've been building here to build where our house is going to be. House is going to be based up here, where I remember where this used to see this from the earlier episodes, guys. I was originally going to have a staircase come up here, but now I'm going to have to move it somewhere else, because I'm going to have the house extend from here all the way across the front, so as if it overhangs. Uh, we'll go back down here and we'll go big in on the storage room, guys. I've got a design plan in my head for it. I better just check that I'm on a uh, hard difficulty. I'm not, again. For some reason it keeps defaulting it back to... Uh, that mode and I don't like it because I really don't like going on that mode it's awful so there's gonna be the basic start of it and I don't really I'm gonna use the uh, wood I'm gonna have a wood frame for our door and I'm gonna basically just dig it out and uh, storage room is a storage room it's not gonna be that interesting it's just gonna be compact and uh, for use of wood really and I think I don't have enough wood to do the frame no I'm one shot I'm gonna have to go and get some wood Geronimo! Just take a bit of fall damage there, it's not too bad. There's the tree farm, it's been extended a little bit more now. And the path makes more sense to where we're going. I haven't got a pick on this, we'll just mine one tree. This doesn't really make any sense mining a tree with a pickaxe, but who cares really? We've just got to get this done, we need the wood and we need the uh, stuff. Actually, I might have some wood on me, I didn't really check. No, I didn't. Oh well. I've been having uh, some more shaft mining done. I did another shaft and there's still no lapis. So there's no going to be, not a wool episode yet, guys. I won't be able to show you what's coming up. Um, we're just going to head back now with the stuff we've got. As you can see, you can see it's sticking out a little bit. And we're going to have a, eventually there's going to be a, this is going to be all flattened off and it's going to look exactly the same. Maybe have a water feature there or something. But this is going to be a little balcony that will extend out from the, uh, the storage room as well. It makes sense when you see it when it's finished, because it'll all be explained then. Uh, we haven't got much wood on us, actually. We're probably going to end up half finishing this today. I'm just going to do a, a depth like that and into the room. So there's the two and a half stairs stepped into it. So now this is going to be the room here. There isn't much of it actually here, so we're going to actually have to make it inside of the, um, inside of the wall here. But basically it's going to be a dead simple design and I'm not really keen on why I've just put half slabs there but that's going to be the step down into it. Because then the uh, stone floor, which we have a common theme going around through our build at the moment, has a stone floor on it. So our shovel, it's going to see the damage that we've got out here. We're going to be pretty close to the waterfall so I'm probably going to have to take this out now. Luckily I've got buckets on me. I'm going to have to move that up a couple of blocks maybe. So we'll do that and we'll move the waterfall out of the way. See I've got plenty of dirt on me for a maneuvering around at the moment because I kind of need it and I've run out of dirt there already uh, put another stack in, we're going to place the waterfall here instead guys and uh, damage limitation, I think it might actually hit something else so yeah we'll take a bit more fall damage and we're going to just check here because if I know it's going to hit something I'm not going to place it in and we'll just take it out and clear the space because this storage room is going to eventually have to be extended to be bigger just get up, Leroy, and all this lot. So this is going to be the storage room here. We kind of need to uh, make this mountain look naturally large. And we're going to kind of cover the face of it here. 
like so. Because we want it to make it look a natural sized mountain and if I have to I'll bring it forward but at the moment it's okay. Just drop down here. Bring these up. And this is going to be the basic size of it. So uh, where this is will be your wall. Like that. So like that. And then it's going to be a decent size so build these up as well. So like that. And then we'll be able to cover this gap up. So obviously we'll dig this space out and uh, then we'll start designing where we want to have our different chests because chests at the moment are the most important thing to me at the moment because I'm running out of space as you saw and we need to add some more in. So I'm thinking maybe, because uh, the balcony is going to be here so eventually we'll have to dig this back out again but I'm thinking, so it's got one space there so it's going to be one size bigger so we'll dig these two out as well. Thinking of the dimensions as I go. I've got out the wrong block. Super clever. But basically this is going to be the size of it. The roof is going to be one higher, so I'll dig it out again. So it's just below. So all this will be the roof. There's plenty of dirt in this mountain at the top because we're pretty close to the top here. So that'll be the roof there. So that'll make sense. The roof's going to be made out of um, wooden planks. We're not going to be needing any more um, stuff now. So I'm just going to basically do a quick filling of the roof where we want it. So like this, like that. So for now we want it five wide because that seems like a right number to do. So we're going to have to at least put the roof here as well. For now, dig this more out. We're going to have to and then dig it back basically. Because I'm going to have rows, you'll come in, and this will be your balcony entrance area. So I'll have our stone floor. I think I've got stones on me. Yes, I do. So this will be a stone floor. And then it'd be like shelves of uh, double chests, but for now it's going to be single chests. And then um, they're basically just going to house different things that each one will set or have different ones in. So the first one might be, for example, cobblestone, and the next one might be smooth stone. Dead simple, just things to separate so I can just walk in and collect what I need. Let's collect all this and get it out of the way, see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll dig these out. I think I may have just... Uh, Got a little bit of life left on this shovel, like so. And so, as you can see, it's starting to take its shape here because obviously, once it's all decorated in, it'll look much nicer and stuff. But I haven't got many ideas for my house yet, to be honest. Uh, someone was asking me the other day about that, and I said I didn't know because I didn't know where I was going to put it, but now I do. So, this is one, two, three, four, five. Yep, and I'm going to dig it back. So, the first set of first shelves would be here. And uh, they'll be right up into the ceiling. So you won't be able to see them. But I've put a half slab in the ceiling now. So where we are here, the floor will be stone continued. And it's going to be a three set, three double chest, basically. So this one would come out. And uh, a half slab would go there, there. There, there and there. So that when we placed our stuff in, this would be basically an area where there'd be crafting tables, maybe in the ceiling, the occasional part of uh, placing wrong places everywhere. We're going to have to go and sleep before mobs spawn. So basically we're going to need to make some chests. So we've got one chest to start with for as an example, but we're just going to jump off here. We've got plenty of food on us to gain our health back. It's because we've got seven steak on us, so we'll be okay, we'll just refill that in a second. Considering putting a water drop in that room, actually, because considering how many times I'm probably going to have to jump down while building this for now, because eventually all our stuff's going to be moved up into our base house, which is going to be up here. So basically, yeah, this looks a lot nicer now. As you can see, it looks really cool. It's pretty nice. I just need to change up the mud around the outside of it because it makes it look unnatural. But I'm considering using glowstone lighting in this room because it's what we've got at the moment. I think we've got maybe seven or eight pieces of it. Put that back in there for a second. Uh, fill that back in. So like this. And for an example, I will place the one chest we've got. And it will be here. So it would look like that. And you'd be able to open it with no problem. Because there is a half slab there. So there is still a continuation of a roof. So you can still look up. And it looks like a nice start of roof. And I'll probably change this one here to uh, steps. So it kind of gradually goes to it. Or I should probably make the whole roof and the half slabs. But that probably look better actually half slab roof. So it'll probably save us a bit more space. 
and something else. But for now, we're just going to basically build the balcony, which is going to be on look from here. But we're probably going to have to go onto the top of the uh, mountain just a second, just to uh, see what the uh, space available is. We're just going to go up this way because it's a bit quicker to get around to the side. And this is where we're digging out at the moment, kind of coming out of our place here a little bit. So like this, we're kind of building it round. We'll kind of want this a couple more up, like so. Like, not like that. <laughs> and then we'll try, I can't reach that one, I'll have to hop down. And then I'll bring it back round. So it kind of looks like a naturally high point on the mountain. I'll eventually probably replace some of this with smooth stone so that it looks nicer. And as you can see, there's the roof of the thing, so we're going to have to cover that roof. Like with dirt. We'll run out another stack of dirt already, that's why I brought plenty with us. And we'll raise these all one each. And bring this one up to so this one as well. Like that. So kind of a naturally point there. Just trying to hide all the old pieces of dirt that were on this. Let's have a look at this now. It kind of looks more natural, it just probably needs some smooth stone in the gaps instead. So we'll probably do that off camera after this episode, but for now we're going to try and get back up into our storage room. Which is going to have an onlook onto uh, where our farms are going to be. So basically, eventually, as you can see the chickens you can't quite see and the wheat's going to be moved. But the tree farm's there, that looks decent so far. We're just going to hop here and lose some more health. I've just, no, hold on, am I still in... No, I'm in hard mode. Good. So basically, I think we might just change this into a half slab roof because it looks a lot nicer. And we'll see if we've got any equipment on us. I don't think I've got any sticks. Nope. And uh, we'll make some sticks. We'll make a couple of uh, tools that we need. We'll probably make another shovel. Oh, I made a sword by accident. Uh, oops, that was stupid. Let's make. And I haven't even got any more sticks now because I haven't got any wood left. But we'll probably take this roof down, we'll replace it with half slabs, and we will try and get some chests in here as well, start storing our stuff in. Because storage room is kind of what we've been needing for a while, and uh, a 3 by 3 door it isn't too bad, because a mob isn't really going to walk in here in the middle of the night, because I'm not going to be in here in the night. So that wouldn't make any sense anyway, so just to leave the door open makes more sense. And it'll keep the place an open feel because it'll match this area here and the uh, paths outside. Because if I give the recurring theme of maybe putting wood at the bottoms, like here, here, and across round, and then it'll make more sense to when I, if I have a a wooden uh, balcony out looking. But indoor buildings on my base are going to stay as stone brick because they look a lot nicer, and I'll probably include furnaces like occasionally in the middle every three or four blocks or so. I'm just going to add one there, see what it looks like. And we can't add one because we haven't got any inventory space, but we can get rid of the stick. Because we'll get it back in a second. Click that in. Take our stick and have a look. And you see it looks nicer because it gives more an impression on the room. And uh, glow uh, lighting at the moment. I haven't got any torches on me either. Not the best of things to be doing really. As you can see, the chickens are in. Uh, you can see them from here. And we're just going to raise the side of this mountain as well. Eventually this one will be lowered again. As if that, like that. Bring it round. And go down again. Have a look from the uh, bottom. Oh, and fall off. So we can have a look at it. That looks much nice. It looks more natural. More natural, but not quite there, it kind of needs a bit more work doing to it because it doesn't look like a mountain quite yet. So, because it kind of just suddenly drops, so I'll probably make it more gradual. And we're doing this out of dirt, so remember we'll probably have to add some smooth stone back into the build eventually. So we'll keep going, like this, and we'll try and make it look more natural with the pieces next to it. And when grass grows on that, it'll look much nicer as well. We'll probably need to add a bit there in the top section. So we're going to go back up there, we're trying to mine some more wood out of our tree farm. Get some wood, finish out off the uh, starting area of the storage farm. Some small trees in the start here, it's going to be quite awkward to get to them. So I'll dig out 
Uh, yeah, I'll go in here because this is a big tree, and the one after it is as well. Don't really want to get the saplings yet. I've got enough saplings, so when I do a big tree farm collection, I will get them all then because I haven't got much inventory space left in many of my chests. That's why the reason I'm doing a chest, uh, a chest room, a storage room. I think two, two is enough for now. But basically, we're going to head up to there. As you can see, we've got the gap in the wall. It's centered more towards where the central area where we've been building lately. Eventually, in the next couple of episodes, I'm hoping to extend this path, make this one the main line path, and then that bit just be an extension area over that bit. Because uh, I'm considering putting the farms on this side of the path that's going across there. So the tree farm starts off that one. And the bit that goes down there heads towards the mine and the, and the animal farm. Because I'm looking to have the farm, the melon farm, the, the automated wheat farm. Which yeah, I've already released a tutorial on how to do that. So that people know how to do it before I do it. Which makes more sense. So that people know exactly what I'm doing before I've done it. Only 17. I think, I think that's 17 is enough. We'll try it. I don't think it is actually. I think it was five, wasn't it? It's rooms five, five big. Yeah, we're gonna need some more. But basically, guys, uh, a storage room is dead simple to make. Uh, you can do it in any design you want. It's basically just an area where you have your chests, and it's basically just placed. Well, that's much nicer actually. It gives it gives more an impression to the door and outside, as if you go up. But it probably look better if it went down. But it doesn't matter. So as you said, we'll get we'll convert some of this into. Wood, if we've got any, we'll make a stack because if we make any more, we'll uh, we'll run out of space again. So we'll make a set of chests, lots of chests, make seven as I've just made there, and we'll show you what it look like. So there'll be ones there like that, and that'll make it a double eventually when they made bigger, and there'll be sets here as well. So eventually, when 0.7.3 is released, we'll put chests like here, 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 fill it out, make them bigger chests, and. Uh, That'll be basically it for this, and you just extend it backwards when we need to, and that'll make more sense when it's been built, and I've fallen out the window again. Go back round. And eventually, when this is done, we'll be able to look at it, and we'll go in amazing. We'll be able to come out of our house. We'll need some supplies, because our house is just going to be somewhere where we sleep, and we maybe have a couple of decorations around the outside. And in here, I'm probably going to do a decoration, something like this whereby I replace these with probably something that goes well with the wood. But I'm probably going to use smooth stone or stone brick. At the moment I've got stone bricks, we'll try that out, we'll trial it, and if I like it, we'll keep it for the next episode and I'll have replaced it all, but if I don't like it, I'll have changed it to something else that I do like. But for now, that's about it for this episode, guys. We've shown you basically how to make a quick uh, storage room. It's been a, a good length episode this today, guys. I've told you a bit more about what we've done. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed. Remember the chickens. They're going crazy. Here's the amount of eggs I've got and some of my junk. I'm running out of inventory space, as you can tell. I'm just throwing stuff anywhere now. So see you then, guys. Till next time. See you then. Goodbye.